welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how I make my Mud Trooper costume. So I'm very proud of this. So before we get into the video, I have one message, and that is to subscribe. Subscribing greatly motivates me to keep building these awesome helmets and costumes for you. Like for example, this costume took me just around a month and a half, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. But if I had more time, I definitely could have made the helmet sooner. I wish the helmet's what I started with, but it's not. This is what I ended with. But overall, I'm super happy how it is. But let's get right into the video. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're going to be starting with the chest plate. So we have these main two pieces for the front. Got to glue them together. Make sure to reinforce them. And then the back is two big pieces I'm glued together as well. They're just two halves. And then what I'm going to do is add the straps on the shoulders, add some Velcro to the side, and that is basically the main chest plate. Now we just need to add the okay, details. so while I was doing the voiceovers, I realized I didn't show you me attaching the back. So what I have is um, the back plate here, and then um, there's just a piece of Velcro there, a piece of Velcro there, and a tab that attaches it. The straps are permanently attached, and that side is also permanently attached. So now let's get back into the video. Okay, so this is one of my favorite parts of the build, getting these two back pieces done. So there's a raised bit with um, a piece that has four cuts in it. Then I have these pieces that have, there are two that are the same size, just with some popsicle sticks and some beads of glue. And then on one of them, I kind of made it look like there was a four and some other little details. Then I'm just gluing the box together. Then what you'll see is cutting a curve out of the back, and gluing it on, adding hey guys, a wall so for everything to sit nicely. Got for the mud trooper so far, the back, in my opinion, looks very good. So there is these two things there and there. They're for tubing. Right now, the paint is drying on the tube, so they're probably either gonna be later in this video or in another video depending on what I decide to do or decided by you guys over on my Instagram but that is on this these are some valves that the holes will connect into so this is all gonna be painted black eventually but now let's get into working on the arms okay guys so the shoulders and the biceps are almost like all my other ones except tech so it's just my base template that has the two darts in it that i fold glue together for the shoulders then i glue the tube of cardboard together for the bicep and then i use some elastic band to keep them together and then use a buckle to attach it to the chest plate and then there's one detail strip going on the shoulder okay, so, this so i'll is show you that right now piece. So you see, this is the templates that have the two cuts, glue them together. And this is just one big piece of cardboard that I glued together on the seam. And then this is the detail piece, it's just a piece running up and down. And then I covered the corrugation. Then inside, you see the elastic and the clip. And this is actually the wrong side of the shoulder, but it will be clipped into place. A little hard to do with one hand, but that is the shoulder. Okay guys, so to start on the blaster, we have some templates here. We have the two handles, these two pieces which are going to make a box that go on the top, the magazine, the front grip, some just other detail pieces, but my goal for today is to get the whole back figured out. So that detail at the back, some other details, these, the handles, and the ammo box, which I'm not going to attach just yet, but let's get into a time lapse of getting some stuff done. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with gluing a piece of cardboard onto the back and then just gluing up some of the templates, gluing them on, like this little piece in the back that is a stair with a ramp connecting it. Then I glued together the handle, the ammo box glued on the handle, the trigger and trigger guard. Very fast, but it looks very good. Okay, guys, so the um, blaster is turning out very well, in my opinion, looking pretty accurate. Now it's time to work on the magazine, or just finish it up, add some detail like a magnus release and then the actual magazine then we'll probably start working on that top rail with the scope so like hey guys so i looked at my camera and realized that i wasn't recording but what i just did is i took two pieces for the magazine attached them with one piece of cardboard 
So that's what I got done. So now let's work on the rail. Okay guys, so I'm going to start out with five pieces of cardboard. Two are very long as you see, and two are very short that has a little curve in it. That's what's actually gonna be that sits on top of the blaster. And then there's the piece that covers up the top. And then when that is done, you're gonna glue it on and then start to add all of the details which include the scope and the iron sights and then these little strips that go on each side which i will show you in one minute you just want to make sure from all angles it looks good add some extra glue for reinforcements and here's where i'm going to start adding the detail so we have those two strips i was talking about earlier just regular two strips of cardboard that i glued on then the scope is the thinner thing that i use for the main body added some extra pieces of cardboard on it added a mounting plate on the bottom to glue on the top and then the um sights for that it's just a piece of cardboard with some two detail pieces and one detail piece up at the top it's very hard to explain so i'll show you what it looks like up in person okay guys so before i show you that what i'm going to show you now is the um how I made the handle for it. So it's just the piece of cardboard I showed you in the beginning, folded it, adds long arms, and glued it onto the body and the handle as you see right there. A little bit of glue goes a long way, especially on a piece like this. Use a little bit of glue at several contact points and that's how I got this to stay on so well. It is very sturdy and I'm super happy how this is coming together. Okay guys, so we have the main blaster mostly done. So we just got the foregrip and the front sight. So the last thing we have to do is add those um, little pieces at the front. Don't know what they are, but I just have these eight pieces where I covered the corrugation on three out of the four sides because the side you're not gonna be seeing is the side that's glued down. So I'm going to glue them on off camera because it's going to be a very fast time lapse if I did. So I'll be right back. Hey okay, guys, here's the finished blaster and I think it's looking absolutely amazing. So I'm super happy how fast I got this done with only one day of work. So I'm going to continue on this project tomorrow, which we're going to be working on the belt and the legs. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so the blaster is done and it's looking absolutely amazing. Super happy how fast I was able to make this in one day. And what I realized, I didn't show you that um that rear iron sight. That's what I was talking about. The um main body, two detail pieces on each side, then one in the middle. But overall, very happy how it came out. Fits in my hand very well. Saw it. It looks very well. So now let's work on the belts let's go okay guys so now it's time to work on the mud troopers belt so here we have just one small pouch so these are actually very thin on the costume don't know why can't hold anything we have two boxes and then the main buckle that piece and then two circles on top so let's get to a small time lapse of gluing it all together okay guys so what i'm doing so i am gluing the main plate onto the strip of cardboard and then gluing the two small round details on top of the middle of the belt then glued those two sides boxes on each okay. side so to make the leg armor so it's the base template glue on the strip in the middle the piece that comes up a little and then the piece on the top very similar to the mandalorian this is also okay, very guys, similar so to the, the mandalorian bike is done and it's looking very good so now we are on to the helmet so we have all the pieces we need for the respirator or all the main pieces we will need. So let's start gluing all these pieces together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to glue together is the two tubes on each side. So there's just the piece of cardboard, then the piece that wraps around. Then I'm starting to glue together all the templates to make up the base respirator. So we have the piece that goes on top of the front and the piece that goes behind that to make the thing that cups to your face. And then the detail piece is added on top. And then when everything is done, I'm using some little tabs of cardboard to add strength to all of the pieces. 
to some of them all the glue is not the best support. So then we are going to start working on the dome of the helmet. So we have the main framework, attaching the framework on top of the framework. So the main two bars that go from one side to the other. And then I'm gluing a little triangle in to glue to the bottom, which is making another framework, which I'll show you up close okay, now. Okay guys, so we finished one of the quarters. So now let's get all of the other quarters done. Let's go. Okay, so just like that, the helmet is done. So it took me a little over half an hour, but with movie magic, just took a little under three seconds. So now this is done. We have all these other templates I cut out before. So this is going to make the band alongside the helmet. So I'm going to start with the back and work my way. One there, one there, one there, one there. So let's go. All these pieces are done so now what I'm going to do is fill in these gaps so they're very similar to these pieces up at the top I just take a piece of cardboard trace out the shape and they end up looking something like that so let's get all those done okay guys so that is the main helmet done super happy how fast I got this again another one day thing so now what I have to do so tomorrow I'm going to be building the goggles and the accessories. So there's a flashlight over here, which I have this tiny flashlight somewhere. Here it is. So this is actually the flashlight from my tech goggles right here. So I'm going to be able to take it in and out of my helmets. So that's going to be very cool. So we'll get to that right now. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we have finished this um, detail piece where the flashlight will slide into. It's a little hard with one hand. Same flashlight I use for tech. Then it gets mounted on the side right there. But now we're going to work on the goggles in a time lapse. They're very easy, so let's go. Okay, guys, so what I'm doing right now is gluing all the pieces down on to the uh, goggles so we have the nose the two under the um eye pieces then the two pieces at top and then just random okay, pieces guys, here so and there that is all the main building done so now i'm going to get into the process of resining but the pieces that will be resining are the helmet including the goggles the actual helmet and the respirator the chest plate the rifle and if i have some left over maybe the shoulders so let's get right to that let's go okay guys so this is my first time using resin but the resin i'm using is a one-to-one -one, so one part epoxy resin and one part hardener then i'm brushing it all across everything i want to be that i want hard so this includes the helmet blaster chest plate goggles and some little accessories here and there but i only did one layer on the chest plate because i still want that to be flexible but everything else got multiple coats until I liked how hard it was. Then I just painted everything that had to be painted black. So the blaster and those three little accessories. Two for the back of the chest plate and one on the helmet. And speaking of the helmet, we are sanding it now. So for this, I used many layers. I think I used um, three or four layers or three or four different times I went over with spackle. And then my filler primer right there filler primer and then i'm just painting the belts right now so with with silver for the belt buckle black for the actual belt and then army green for the pouches 
so you okay guys so i lost some footage here showing me where i painted everything so the chest plate and I'm everything doing else. now is doing some uh i forget what people call it or i call it like the black wash so it's black water or water with black paint in it mix it up and then it gives a dark look to everything you wipe it on so there i wiped it on and then i wiped some of it off didn't work out for this but it worked on the helmet which would be coming up soon so i did the chest plate and then the shoulders now i am doing the blaster which is i'm just dry brushing some silver on and then i'm going to be talking about the weathering for the shoulders and the chest plate so for that all the chipping marks i wanted is what i did was i used a base coat of black and then i painted on top silver as you see now but i left a little gap in between so you still saw the black so it's like that middle layer in between the metal so and then what i did was i actually cut up some pieces of cardboard and wrapped them in silver duct tape and glued them on some of the um chip marks to make it look like shrapnel from an explosion okay, so um i've been weathering everything so the chest plate is behind me i just don't want to grab it so this is what the medic pulled me look like so i messed up because i forgot that there was the logo or the medic insignia here but this is what it looks like it looks very cool now i taped off this front and now i have to paint this three lines orange so i'm gonna do that later when it's i'm able to paint because right now it's raining but now what i'm gonna finish is the respirator and hopefully the goggles so let's go okay guys so before i worked on any of those things i actually made a little chin strap so it's just these three pieces of cardboard that i glued together to make this little chin strap then i attached a clip and some elastic bands so i could attach to the helmet and there you see the goggles added the lens added the strap and there's another piece that i will be ending it's like a little clip but not in the movie it's a clip but mine it doesn't work as a clip and then here you see i am actually attaching the um the chin strap with the little clip and then i tried it on make sure it fit you always want to try everything on and then to finish the rust braider i painted the silver where it was use the same weathering technique and add a little bit of black to the front and then i use the exact same weathering technique as the chest plate and shoulder for the um the leg pieces there the respirator and the helmet and overall at, i'm doing these voiceovers after the costume's done and in my opinion it looks absolutely amazing so this is actually the last part so let's get into the reveal let's go guys thank you for watching to the end of me making my mud trooper so subscribe so you won't miss my next video so thank you and i'll see you in the next one